Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, first video back. I'm Matt with Blue Tail Survival. Troy is on the camera. I uh, had no intention of doing any videos today, but Troy and I did some work at his new property, and uh, we kind of did a little uh, trek around the woods, and we saw this tree. Uh, I don't mind hacking on this tree. This tree's kind of fallen. So <clears throat> we did a video uh, actually quite a long time ago. It was uh, Exploring Nevada, Pea Vine Mountain. It was our very first one. And we talked about pine needle tea um, and how awesome a pine tree is for our area because it's got so many medicinal and just uh, so all sorts of properties that make it a pretty awesome tree. Um, so we, we came across this one. It's got a lot of damage to it. Obviously this entire piece is hacked off. We're going to take some fat wood out of that. You can, I can smell it, that uh, pine sole smell. I can just smell it just sitting right here. So that'll be really good for fire starting. There is a ton of sap, like a lot of new sap it looks like. I'm not a sap guy, so I'm not exactly sure uh, what sap looks like after 24 hours or 72 hours. This shit right here, I don't know if you can see, it almost looks like honeycomb, or uh, not honeycomb, uh, wax. I feel like that would be really, really good as a fire accelerant, <clears throat> maybe even a fire starter. So we're gonna take a bunch of this home. This stuff, let me get a twig. And I'll try to try to get a close-up of this. I mean, it's almost still in a liquid form. Might have to take another method of this. It's still very wet. Very, uh, it hasn't solidified at all. So we're going to take quite a bit of this stuff. And if you don't know by now, we've never done it on video. You can make a pretty awesome pine pitch glue using uh, pine sap, charcoal, and then some sort of fibrous material. I think uh, like rabbit shit works really well. Deer shit would work really good. Troy, can you zoom in on this? This is, this is what I'm talking about. This is really, really, I mean, it's still, it's not gonna look wet. That looks broken, but I mean, you see what I mean? That's still very, very wet. So like, that tells me that's still dripping. So I'm just going to collect as much of this as I can, not because I'm going out tomorrow and need a fire starter, but because I want to, we're going to go back to the house and we're going to do a little, uh, science experiment. We would do it out here, but the, the fire burning out here right now is a no go. There's crazy, crazy fires going on outside. So we're going to actually do this in the garage. Um, but yeah, I just want to see kind of how what the difference is between the yellow shit and the really, really still kind of like <clears throat> uh, liquid version stuff. So I'm going to hold on to this. We'll put this in the back of the razor that whatever you want to call that, the Yamaha. Uh, again, we're going to grab all this yellow stuff and I'm not damaging the tree. I'm just kind of scraping this stuff off. It's not not bark or anything once once it all falls to the ground I'll collect all of it but none of that's really doing anything to the tree now it is it's solidified it's almost like a honeycomb so we'll bring a bunch of this stuff back that'll probably be good and again I just want to see how this stuff will burn we'll save some of this and then the main thing I wanted to grab, there we go. That's awesome. Sticky central right there. The main thing I wanted to grab here was uh, some fat wood. Because uh, I don't have any fat wood in my kit. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to grab some. So what I know about fatwood is it's uh, it's really red because of the resin. This doesn't look red to me, but if you could see, I mean, there's sap dripping off it right now. I don't actually think this classifies as fatwood. It's not really pine solly. I can smell it, but I think it's actually because of all the sap. Maybe it's the type of tree it is. We'll still 
We'll still take some back. We're still gonna take some of this stuff back. We'll test it with the fire starter, see how it does. Um, but I, I actually don't think this is really like the, the fat wood everybody's talking about. So uh, just stand fast. We'll go back to the hooch where we don't burn down the uh, the wilderness, and we'll uh, we'll try to start a fire with this stuff. Thank you. All right, we are back. We kind of did a little tour of the property. Um, like I said, we had no intention of doing a video today. I have been drinking, so I don't really remember what I told you out there. So I'm, I might might double up on some stuff. So what we collected is I collected uh, I collected the pine, the just the standard pine sap, the very liquefied version of it. I collected some of the solidified version of it. Um, if you want to see how to render this down, go to uh, Desert Maker, which is Paul. <laughs> Uh, he does a, he renders this down to a really good pine pitch and then we collected just some of the base wood which I don't know if you can classify it as uh, fat wood because it's not really red there's you can't see any resin with the exception of the glistening uh, sap that's like literally still beating off of this I've already made a couple small feather sticks I'm gonna make one real quick and then we're going to uh, I'm gonna try to do a Ferrocene rod fire with all this stuff and uh, I want to see what the uh, what the, the solidified pine pitch does versus what the liquid pine pitch does and uh, if you guys remember Paul kind of discussed with with you guys that uh, you're not going to get this or this to catch with a ferrocene rod it's more of an extender not a fire starter um, but I kind of wanted to see what the deal is with that. So we'll, we'll put that against the fire and we'll, we'll see what happens. So shave down a little bit more wood. <clears throat> All of this is pine. All of it came off just a couple of sticks. Um, kind of dive into the fire kit here. I don't have a really good fire steel with me. This is the same fire steel I used during the, uh, the winter survival challenge against Paul. So we'll see how it, we'll see how it does. It's just it's I mean it's small. This is my like little this is my like little kit um, fire steel. We'll see how we do. I don't know. It was it's really grainy and it was like it was actually really hard to do feather sticks with. I used a uh, the Ontario SK5 Blackbird which. Actually, with all the amount of knives I bought, which you guys are going to see, I've got, I'm going to have a crazy series starting with all the knives that I bought over the last year. Um, this is not my favorite. Uh, I do like it. I like the profile. I like the grip. The flat grind, I'm going to see if Troy can thin the blade out a little bit um, because it actually really did not do great on feather sticking right now. But the spine is a 90 degree spine. Um, so hopefully that works out really well. We'll see here. I got a bunch of feather sticks, kinda. So let's give this a uh, let's give it a whirl. Okay. <laughs> you are looking crazy. This knife or this uh, fire steel, it's really small. It just it, it does make it difficult. But this is throwing uh, sparks just fine. Christ. So that was a fucking thing. Totally 
fucking doable, obviously. I don't know if you guys saw, I changed the angle a little bit and the, the sparks actually were throwing quite a bit better. That took way too fucking long. Um, it's fucking burning now. Hey, oh, whatever. Too many F bombs. Oh, it's burning now. Um, sunshine and rainbows. So here is the uh, the dried stuff that we took out. Just kind of want to see what this will do. Okay, that didn't take long at all, and that's gonna. Whew, that's just gonna theoretically keep burning. There's a lot of fire going on. Uh, here is the. The wet stuff, the wet stuff, and now yeah. I'll never tell you that the wet stuff is good for a fire accelerant. I I do know that this is good for a glue. So if we took the charcoal from this with a fibrous material um, and mixed it, it would make a really good glue. But I'm just curious to see how well it burns. So we'll we'll do that. So that's, I mean, that's pine. And everything you see coming off is pine tar. So, I mean, it's not a, it's a fucking tree. It's a dope, it's a, it's a dope fun tree. We gotta let all that burn out now. So yeah, that is the uh, end result. I can't believe that took that long to get it going, but there she blows.